Today in history, it is June 17th, and our journey to the past will continue. Yes, we have two events to share with our listeners today. We're going to get to them in just a moment, but first, here is my quiz question. One of India's most renowned structures is number one, the Colosseum, or number two, the Taj Mahal. The question one more time. One of India's most renowned structures is number one, the Colosseum, or number two, the, Co- uh, the Taj Mahal. If you know the answer, you can put it on our Bundy board or text in pounder sharp 1045 on your cell phone for 51. You could win an eco bag and mug cup. That's right. So, like Steve has just told us, there are two events that are going to be discussed, and here they are. Today in history. In 1631, Muntaz Mahal died, inspiring the construction of the Taj Mahal. And in 1885, the Statue of Liberty arrived in New York. Okay, today's journey begins with what has been considered an architectural jewel and staple iconic landmark of India. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, the Taj Mahal, a a magnificent mausoleum made with white marble and inlaid with some beautiful stones, semi-precious stones, and the finest example of uh, Mughal. I think they call it Mughal architecture. Mm. Mm. And there's there's Taj Mahal. There's a picture of it uh, inside and out on uh, Point and Radio. Right. And the story of the Taj Mahal began on this day in 1631 when the third wife of Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan died during childbirth. Her name was Muntaz Mahal, and she was the emperor's favorite. Her death left him absolutely devastated, and known for commissioning numerous buildings across his reigns, he ordered the construction of a building to commemorate her memory. Mm. And thus began the mobilization of more than 20,000 laborers from India, Persia, Europe, and the Ottoman Empire, plus 1,000 elephants culminating in the Taj Mahal, meaning Crown Palace. And just not too long ago, didn't we talk about the sort of like a facelift that the Taj Mahal is getting, the mud pack? It was, yeah, I think it was the Taj Mahal, right. wasn't it? it yeah, was, yeah, it was. I, I remember that now. The the qualities from the mud can add to the exterior and the yes. way it looks, right? Oh, it yeah. cleans the uh, the the outside of yeah. the building, the construction there. It's an unbelievably <laughs> beautiful building, isn't it? 네, 당시 2만여 명의 그 노동력이 필요했고 또 1천 마리. Now, speaking of beautiful structures, we go to the 19th century when another iconic structure, also involving a lady, made its mark in history. That's right. And of course, that's none other than the Statue of Liberty, which arrived on this day in New York from France in 1885, contained in 214 crates. Wow, 214 crates. So you can see there in the photos on Poison Radio, I guess they... They had to construct it from the ground up or oh, re- yes. reconstruct it, mm, I, like I guess we should the say. Parts, I yeah, think. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Uh, well, sent as a gift from France to the United States, the Statue of Liberty is one of the most recognized structures in the world, right? Uh-huh. And standing at 93 meters tall, the statue represents the Roman goddess of freedom, Libertas. Mm. The construction of the statue was so massive that her head was put on display at the World's Fair in Paris in 1870. 어머나, 이게 얼마나 엄청난 그 건축물이든지 이 머리 부분만 따로 지금 보이는 라디오에서 보여드리고 있습니다만은 파리에서 전시되기도 했다고 하는군요. Well, the statue is also known to be hollowed with stairs going as high as the torch itself. Mm. However, the torch has been closed to the public since 1916. Maybe it's a little too dangerous maybe to uh, go all the way to the top of the perhaps, torch. Perhaps, perhaps. Mm. Now, have you ever wondered where the Statue of Liberty's looks come from? Why she looks like that? Yes, I have wondered about it, yes. Well, it hasn't been verified, but rumor has it that the face of the statue was modeled after the sculptor Frederick August Bartholdi's mother. 
음. 나. He made it after his mom. 아, 그 조각가, 그 본따서, However, the characteristic green color of the statue is one feature of its own caused by the oxidation 음. of the external copper called patina. Well, although a sign of damage, the patina in fact works as a means of protection from further deterioration. Yeah, so you'd want to leave it there, I guess, because it helps to protect it, right? 맞아요. 저게 이제 일부러 뭐 파란색을 칠했거나 이런 게 아니라 외부의 어떤 그 이제 물질 자체가 산화되는 바람에 녹색 빛을 띄게 됐습니다. Worked out well, I think. I think so. And the color works too, I think. Right, yeah. exactly. That's what I'm saying. Um, um, now, have you ever visited the Statue yes, of Liberty? Yes, I have. Like long, 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 long time ago, back in the 80s. What was your impression, if you can remember, standing? Did you stand at the bottom of it, or oh, I, I, I could actually walk, not walk off to, but there was an escal- elevator, okay, yeah. and I don't think I made it all the way to the top. No. But I'm already uh, always afraid of heights. Right, right, right. <laughs> but it was amazing, like remember, magnificent statue. Yeah, when I was uh, young, flew through New York, and coming into the airport during the landing process, you look uh, out the window. I, I think it was the right side, if I remember correctly. And just seeing that statue there, mm-hmm. it was just kind of cool to see because you see it in picture books and right. you see it on TV, and to see it, you know, even though it was just out the airplane window, right. it was kind of cool. I think. 그렇죠. 근데 가장 그 기억에 남았던 거는 on there's a long walk actually leading to the statue uh-huh. there and once you step down from the boat huge boat there mm-hmm. and uh the h- was this huge um the waste bin uh was down actually okay and there was one gentleman walking by he was very kind enough to take time to put it up okay and then make it stand again uh-huh. Uh, Simon 선생님이 일부에서 말했던 것처럼 이렇게 쓰레기를 줍는 모습이 굉장히 mm. 감명받았다라고 하신 것처럼 저도 아주 잘 차려 입은 양복을 입은 분이 이렇게 쓰, 어, 쓰러져 있는 쓰레기통을 다시 이렇게 세우는 모습이 uh, He wasn't an employee. Uh, no, no, he wasn't. Oh, I see, I see. 네. 하여튼 뭐 그런 경우도 있었습니다. 자, 오늘 이렇게 해서 두 가지 여러분과 또 Today in History 함께 해봤고요. Yep, and before we finish up, here's the answer to the quiz question I gave just a moment ago. The question was, one of India's most renowned structures is number one, the Colosseum, or number two, the Taj Mahal, and it is number two, the Taj Mahal. And that's all we have for today in history, but we'll come back with more from the past. And we will be right back in just a moment with Morning Date. We have Dr. Kyung Suk Yum, uh, director of SMU uh, TESOL at Sukmyung Women's University. Mm-hmm. It's going to be very interesting to chat with Dr. Yum. That's in just a moment, but first here's Barry Manilow. Hey, it's Barry Manilow's birthday Yay! today. Happy birthday, Barry. Mm-hmm. Here he is with Copacabana.